Oh, hello everyone, my name is Bob. My wife Valerie and I are on a cruise right now. Um, it's April 2023 and we are on the Norwegian Sky. Now the Norwegian Sky is actually a uh, kind of, a, it's a smaller cruise ship. It's uh, a capacity is 2,000 people and the pros and cons, uh, uh, being a smaller ship, uh, boarding and onboarding is a little bit easier. And, the bad thing is the, the amenities aren't, aren't as much as uh, compared to some of the bigger ships, but overall it's it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick rundown on a lot of different uh, things and I'll do a couple areas of the ship and show you, uh, show you what it's all about. I'm going to turn the camera on right now because currently we're in one of the excursions. It's uh, Norwegian's uh, private island, so we just came from that. And it was pretty nice. It was uh, wasn't crowded. Uh, you, you rent a cabana and you get to go snorkeling and uh, play on the beach. And it was uh, yeah, it was pretty nice. So now we're back on ship. You're not going to see a lot of people on ship right now because a lot of them are still over there. So I will continue. Okay, I had to come back and reshoot this part because the wind was so bad. So I'm going to try to block a little bit. So the pool area is not too crowded right now, but normally it's really crowded. But a lot of people are still out on the excursion. But usually this place is packed. And I'm really into the pool, let alone the whirlpools, because, uh, well, they tank it back. But the bar down there to the left is actually pretty nice, but it gets kind of crowded. But I do want to point out the bar up here on the 12th window, sorry, is actually uh, a better place to come up this one extra level. And uh, using that crowd, a nice place to sit, kind of overlook all the madness uh, down below. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm on the 12th deck. You don't have you see the basketball courts, so they're getting a little busy too, but overall nice. Um, but sitting out in the sun, not my thing, so, uh, but if it's yours, so it, it's, it's nice. So, later. Okay, so right now I'm standing out inside the, uh, the garden cafe, which is the, uh, I jokingly call the, the hog trough. <laughs> yeah, it's where you go and it's the buffet, you get whatever you want to eat. And overall, I'm going to say that the food is good. I'm going to turn the camera this way. Now, the nice thing is I don't have to walk inside because they have an outside portion too. But if you go inside, they have a wide selection of food. And what I like to do is uh, I'll go grab a whole bunch of different types of foods and try it, a little bit of everything. And yeah, uh, don't judge me, but I have a lot of waste because I'll take a couple bites here, a couple bites there, and then pretty much dump the rest. But, um, but overall, it's good. So, uh, I'm going to go in a little further and talk about some of the restaurants too. Okay, so I couldn't find a quiet place to talk about restaurants. So, um, basically they have two restaurants. Well, they have several, but the, uh, the main ones, the main dining room is the Palace and the Crossing. So, we intended to go to the, uh, the Palace. And one thing I want to talk about is food allergies. So, if you have food allergies, my wife Valerie has food allergies to uh, corn and gluten. The first thing you need to do is enlist the Mater D and let them know because um, there's just too many people and there's cross contamination, things like that. So um, the one Mater D, her name was Grace, and then Jenny Lynn was a, a supervisor. But both excellent. Grace actually took my wife under her wing and um, pretty much uh, coordinated her lunch and her breakfast just to be sure that it was corn free. So it turned out really good. So. Um, yeah, if any food allergies, make sure you get to enlist their help immediately so that there's no problems. Uh, overall, the food in the main dining rooms were good. Um, I hate putting ratings on things, but at the uh, the food troughs, uh, the buffet, you know, it's a three. The dining rooms, I definitely put it at a four. But I will say, if you're going to order steak, don't order your steak at the uh, one of the main dining rooms. Uh, order their chicken dinners are great, their fish is great, their other meals are great. Um, save the steak for Cagney's. So Cagney's was excellent. We had to fillet both nights we went there and the food was awesome. Service was awesome. So uh, definitely save your steaks until you go to Cagney's and any of the other uh, uh, food dishes at the main restaurants were definitely good too. So now I'm going to take a quick pass by the spa and the, uh, the fitness area and we'll go from there. So walking forward here on my right is going to be the, uh, the spa, which is really nice. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Actually, it's on my right coming from. Oh. Doing 
a lot of cleaning, so it was on my right. I'm gonna go right to the fitness center. Fitness center is pretty typical. You know, an area of uh, free weights, ellipticals, treadmills, bikes. There's an open area in the other room, which I probably assume they did classes. I never had a problem getting on an elliptical or a bike. Treadmill's a little more challenging, but uh, overall, no, no complaints. So I'm gonna walk back out here. And there's the spa straight ahead, but I'll talk about that as I go down the hallway here. So the spa has, was nice, it has your typical massages. I've already got one of the biometric uh, massages and change right that. Um, they have a thermal spa, but it's not like on the larger ships. You know, basically the thermal spa is a sauna <laughs> and a uh, steam room. The nice thing there is that the, you get a bigger shower. So they don't have the private whirlpool. They don't have the uh, child warm chairs and uh, uh, sauna whirlpool. That's it. Now, right now I'm walking into the spinnaker. What's nice about this is at the front of the ship, it's actually, actually very, it's never really crowded. It's actually pretty nice. They have a bar, some entertainment, which is a nice place to come out and hang out and not have a lot of people here. So Spinnaker, definitely a welcome secret. Okay, once again, we're still in port, so to speak. This is uh, Norwegian's uh, private island. So once again, I suggest you know, get one of the cabanas. I think they were really nice. It's reasonable price. And uh, get out, do a little swimming, and enjoy the, uh, the beach area there. It was really nice. The water was beautiful. Um, and down below, you can see one of the uh, tenders uh, that transports you over there. And it, it was pretty quick and easy. So bottom line, though, I do want to mention uh, the one thing I, I left out and we didn't talk about was uh, was excursions. <laughs> um, we did a couple, and the uh, the first one was the um, Porta Plata, Dominican. Um, we did the uh, is the waterfall and um, rock slides. Um, personally, they listed it as strenuous being a three, but I'm getting quite honestly, be careful if you're going to go on it. There were a couple of things that we. Uh, we're really surprised maybe we are a little older but still um like for instance uh, don't bring a lot of stuff with you because they're not going to let you bring anything on the actual tour um what's going to happen is you're going to stuff whatever you have in these little lockers and um and then what they're going to do if you have a decent pair of sandals that are waterproof wear those because what they're going to do is encourage you to wear the uh the surf type shoes but what they don't tell you is a lot of that height is on rock <laughs> so they're not very comfortable and then uh, what probably complicated us was the fact that um, there were three other uh, ships in port and it was crazy. It's a long hike. Um, some of the uh, the jumps are pretty high. Some of the slides are pretty long. As a matter of fact, the one slide at the end, they kept encouraging everyone to do the last slide because it's a nice long slide. But what they don't tell you is at the end of that slide, there's like a, uh, I don't want to exaggerate, but a good seven foot jump where all of a sudden you're, you're flying into the water so um, depending on your age and your fitness level be careful with that so we had a couple objections actually we mentioned it to the uh, excursion people I think they should be a little more upfront about that but having said that we did two other excursions we did uh, St. Martin it was the um, I'll put the names of these in, uh, in the comments but uh, the one was a bus trip from the Dutch side to the uh, French side then we got on a boat and did a cruise, and it turned out really nice. It was a, it was a lot of fun, a lot of good information. And then at uh, St. Thomas, we did the, I believe it's called Twice as Nice, which was a catamaran out to a couple of different coves. And we actually saw sea turtles, got some great uh, pictures. Um, the crew was great, Every, everything was great. So we had one tour excursion that wasn't that great, but the last two were awesome. Well, Fourth being the uh, the island here, that was really nice. So overall, the uh, we're on day nine of a ten day cruise, and you know what? It was good. We glad it was good to get away and not have to worry about uh, house maintenance or cooking or cleaning or any of that stuff. So we, overall, we had a really good time. And um, will we do Sky again? Now maybe not only because uh, it is nice having a bigger ship and more amenities, but uh, but overall, it was good. We enjoy it. So. Um, 
behalf of Valerie and I, uh, we had a good time, and uh, I hope this was of some help. Uh, I have no problem answering questions if you want to so private message me. If you want more information, I'd be more than glad to share it. So once again, it's April 2023. The temperature was perfect every day. The water temperature was perfect every day. So overall, good trip.